best carbonara I've made. Hello guys, episode three. I'm very, very, very excited about today's recipe. It's a classic. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's the one and only, drum roll please, carbonara. Woo! Yeah, as I said guys, this is a beautiful dish. I know I talk a lot about breaking traditions with this one, simply impossible. We've got guanciale, which is an Italian cured pork. Um, this is the star of the dish. So if you can get this, I'd always say to get, to get this from an Italian shop if you have that near you. Alternatively, people use bacon, people use pancetta. So you can equally do that as well. With the guanciale guys, we're just gonna be taking off the outer layer. And I can already tell how flavoursome this meat is just by the fattiness of it. This dish really is a classic. I mean, I, I made this, I made this in the villa. Whitney didn't get to try it unfortunately, but it was one that we didn't have a lot on the fridge. So I thought it was gonna come out to a lot of hate because I say carbonara, you can't call what I made in the villa carbonara. This is carbonara. So as soon as we cut the guanciale, we can put it straight into a cold pan. We don't need any oil. It's gonna release the oil itself. You can turn that on. And you want it on about a low to medium heat. It is gonna take about the same amount of time as your pasta is to cook. So as soon as you turn this on, you can get the pasta cooking straight away. It's really, really important we salt our water. I want you guys to give these recipes a go. Send me them. So this is 500 grams of pasta. This is gonna serve about four people. Let's drop that in nicely. And this dish is super, super quick to make, guys. For me, I feel like I'm in Italy right now. So, pasta's in, guanciale's rendering down nicely. We can now move on to sorting our sauce. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using four, four eggs, but I'm gonna be separating the yolk from the egg white. So just to crack nicely here. And all of that egg white can be used to make a nice protein omelet. I have been lacking in the gym. I hope you guys can't tell, but I'm gonna be making a protein omelet with that. We don't like wasting food. And you just use the shell to separate that egg yolk. So I use about three yolks and one whole egg. And honestly guys, the smells of all these simple ingredients, beautiful. I could eat this just like that, but I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna wait to, to dish it in the final product. The ratio of cheese, of pecorino to parmesan is quite a controversial topic. I'm gonna go 50-50. I've got Italian friends that say 60-40 has to be more pecorino. I like a fine balance between the two. This is one of my favorite dishes. I've gone Charlie's cooking away nicely. Whilst everything's cooking, we're getting our sauce ready and we can add this in. And I know it looks like a lot of cheese, guys, but we want it to be almost a paste. We, it's, not, it's never gonna be a smooth consistency. You want to mix it thoroughly into this. You want it to turn into this paste like so. Got some cream. I'm gonna be, you thought, you thought. Never add cream. Every time anyone adds cream to carbonara, stab to the heart. That's what it is. So guys, the guanciale is looking absolutely beautiful. And I think just to seal the deal, of how beautiful it looks. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. So all of that oil is gonna be transferred. Yes, and we wanna stir this into, so you can already see that helps with the consistency as well. So all of that flavor is going into that sauce. We're not wasting anything. We're using the flavor from the, flavor from the fat and that, oh my gosh. The, so look at the creaminess of this guys. Already we're getting a beautiful sauce and no cream. Guys, say it with me, please. No cream! Parts of this, you've got your sauce mixed with the guanciale oil and the cheeses. 
the pepper is so crucial to this dish. It adds spice. As I said, you can quite easily grind pepper. Uh, we've got a pestle and mortar, so we're just going to really grind those peppercorns. Any negativity in your life, get one of these. Anger management. I'm not going to add all of it. I'm going to save a little bit for the end. And we're just going to mix all of that pepper in. So once our pasta's cooked, our guanciale's cooked, we're just going to take a couple bits for the end. We want to keep the majority in there, just a few pieces. Keep that to the side. So guanciale's cooked, you really need to make sure that it's on the lowest heat possible because when we do add our egg mixture in, we don't want it to curdle. So, and the pasta itself is going to be hot, so we're going to be transferring this into the pan. Okay guys, so we've mixed this in nicely. It's on a very, very low heat. Really important, we save our beautiful pasta water. Guys, turn the heat off. And what I'd even say is just wait 30 seconds to a minute for that pan to cool down ever so slightly because you've done all the hard work now. It's just important that you do the steps right so that you get the creaminess, nothing curdles. So just let it stand for 30 seconds. So now we are gonna add our sauce, our beautiful sauce. And guys, do not waste any at the bottom. I wanna be seeing that get absolutely scraped to the max. And if you can, give it a little. So now we're gonna add all of that starchy pasta water. And now you can really see the creaminess of that pasta. Right guys, I can't resist. I've got to do a taste test. I've got to. A little bit of apple. Oh, get the whole bowl out. A little bit of meat. It's going to be messy. Don't judge. Best carbonara I've made. Hands down, best carbonara I've made. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. I don't know if this is right, but I like to twist the bowl as I put it in the dish, just to make it seem a little bit more fancy than... Wow, not too bad. And now we just want to coat it. And this is why we saved some of that beautiful guanciale just to garnish. Just to garnish like so and make it look nice and pretty. And guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, especially me, we've got to get a good bit here. Cheers. Mm. That is incredible. Guys, carbonara dumb. Let me see you guys giving it a go. Recipes are coming weekly. Be sure to tune in. Thank you.